Good evening everyone. I say that because it is very late at night, hence the atrocious lighting of just my bedroom light. I'm very sorry about that, but it's just for the intro. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I went from this very faded, bluey green, teal hair to this lovely, wintry, Christmassy, bright, gingery orange colour. <laughs> Which I like very much. Nobody freak out though, I am going back to the teal hair in like January, February time. This is just for Christmas because, I don't know, I associate ginger hair with like Christmas, probably because I associate like gingerbread with Christmas. I don't really know. So stay tuned if you want to see how I got rid of the blue out of my hair and dyed over any sort of staining and essentially just went from one end of the colour wheel completely to the other with like minimal bleaching. Okay guys, enjoy the video! Alright guys, so this is what my hair looked like before I did anything to it. As you can see I have a severe amount of regrowth. Um, my natural colour is really really dark, it's like a really dark brown. Um, my hair had been a super dark, almost black teal colour, um, but a few months of fade and regrowth had left it this sort of... It's like a really nice turquoisey teal sort of colour, it sort of leans a bit green, um, so it was super super faded, but in terms of like how much pigment there is still in the actual hair, like it looks like it could be just freshly dyed because of how dark it still is. It's just really faded because of how dark it was originally. Um, so there's a lot of work to be done on this, yeah. Don't worry guys, I would not be making this video if it didn't all turn out as planned. So the first thing I went ahead and did was I decided to start off by bleach bathing my hair. And the reason I did this instead of just bleaching straight away was because I wanted to see how much of the pigment in my hair and the staining that I could get out just from doing a bleach bath because it's not quite as damaging as just straight up bleaching your hair. So I'm using a 6% 20 vol peroxide um, and some blue bleach powder. These are just like brandless ones from um, like Sally's salon services. And I'm using a head and shoulders anti-dandruff shampoo. Um, I hear a lot about anti-dandruff shampoos tend to strip the colour out of your hair most. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically mix these all together in a bowl and hope for the best. So guys, I always just blind mix my bleach. Um, I never bother to measure it, I just put in little bits of each until I have a good consistency. And mainly the reason I don't measure is because I have such a lot of hair to cover. I use about three, sometimes four bowls just to bleach my entire head. Um, so I've just never really bothered with it. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm filling the tub about halfway with a decent bleach mixture just like I would normally mix bleach and then on top of that I am going to be squeezing in and filling up the rest of the tub just with the anti-dandruff shampoo and this is going to dilute the bleach a little bit but it's basically going to mean that when I put this on my hair it's not going to cause as much damage as a standard bleach um, it's not going to get all of the pigment out and it's certainly not going to bleach my roots entirely but it will get me halfway there and it will let me know after I've done this step basically how much further I have to go to achieve a light enough colour to be able to dye over it. And yay, here I am looking dishevelled. Um, basically what I've done is I've just really quickly rinsed my hair, not very much, it's not wet, it's just a little bit damp and so all I'm going to be doing is essentially just pasting this mixture onto my head. I'm basically just trying to slap a whole load of bleachy shampoo all over my head um, just to sort of strip out like the most pigmented bits of my head. So I'm not exactly going all the way to the roots with this, um, I'm trying not to get it like all over my skin and I'm just pinning back my hair once I've done one side. Um, you can already see that it's like starting to draw out colour from both the blue in my hair and you can see how light my roots are getting already and this isn't even full bleach, this bleach is pretty diluted at this point. And then what I'm doing is I always braid my hair whenever I'm bleaching or dyeing it and it's basically because it's so long I just braid it to keep it a little bit shorter, it's easier to manage that way for me pinning it up. 
but I'm basically just going to pin it up on my head and I'm going to shove a shower cap on it and I'm going to shove a towel around it and I'm going to leave that on my head for about half an hour-ish. And so here I am um, checking up on my hair if I could get out of this towel. And you can see just how light my hair has gone with this bleach bath. Um, this is a really good bleach for me, I found it works really well, but you can see that it's taken out a fair bit of pigment on the hair and my roots have actually gone pretty light. Here we go, you can see after I've dried it my roots look really dark now, which is weird. I promise it's just the dodgy lighting because it's night time. But you can see the difference that just the bleach bath made. Obviously there's still a long way to go. If you were doing a permanent dye, something with peroxide in it, then perhaps you could dye over it at this point. But I'm only using semi-permanent fashion colours, so I will be doing a bleach after this. So here I am a day later. And I would always suggest leaving like more than a day um, between bleaching your hair and bleach bathing your hair and such. But I'm not gonna because I don't care. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing now is something that I don't really see people do a lot and I just always, I always want to recommend it, is I'm basically slathering up my entire head with Vaseline. I know that sounds weird. Yep, there it is. I know that sounds weird. But basically what I'm doing this for is because when the bleach gets onto your skin, it can dry it out, it can even burn it if it's left on too long. And so for parts of my face that are near my hairline, I'm putting Vaseline on because this creates a barrier between any bleach that gets on you and your skin. So especially for like the ears, if you ever start to feel your ears burning and getting irritated when you're bleaching or dyeing your hair, um, this is a super good way to make sure that you don't get bleach directly onto your skin. And I have pinned up my hair rather atrociously on top of my head just to sort of section it out a little bit. So what I've done now is I've mixed up the same as yesterday, just this time it's just, um, it's only bleach. So I've mixed up basically the same mixture but I haven't put in any of the anti-dandruff shampoo. And what I'm doing now is I'm just bleaching my roots and a little bit along the strands of my hair but I'm completely avoiding the ends of my hair. I'm not putting any bleach on like the last three or four inches of my hair. I'm also not putting the bleach all the way up to my scalp. I know you can't see it at this point but I'm putting it maybe about half an inch away from the roots and that is because that I know the bleach is going to sort of absorb back up the hair a little bit and essentially it's just going to stop it getting onto my scalp immediately and making it itch or burn or making it irritable at all. And continue this until you've done your entire head. Yep, here I am at that point, checking out my root situation. Seems pretty light, seems pretty blonde, uh, lots of sticky bleach in there. Um, at this point the bleach feels pretty thick and pretty hot on my head so I'm about to take it off now and get in the shower. And this is as soon as my hair had dried, I think this was the next day. Um, so you can see that my roots are fairly light, they're very gold in this lighting, I'm not sure if that's just the lighting or not. Um, but you can see just how light the blue areas of my hair is now. I'm not sure if it looks a little bit pigmented on camera, but it was almost like a really pastel, almost grey sort of blue in reality. And you can see there just how pale some individual strands have gone. So at this point I am ready to dye over this mess. Now you can see better in this light actually just how pale the blue sections went. You can still see a little bit of staining. I'm pretty sure that that will basically never come out of my hair. But this is definitely pale enough to dye over. And I know that some dyes don't take well to staining, but I am using these two by Adore. I'm using Cajun Spice and Orange Blaze. And the first time I ever dyed my hair orange, which I used Orange Blaze, I had had blue hair previously and I just dyed over. I think it was darker than this when I dyed over it. So I'm fairly familiar with this brand being very, very good for just dyeing straight over other colours. Now, everyone else I see use this, mixes it with a conditioner. Um, you can do that and it will probably keep your hair a little bit silkier, but I basically just pour it straight from the bottle into a mixer. I don't like to dilute mine with conditioner. I know it would go a little bit further, um, especially since I have so much hair, but I 
don't ever bother doing that. It does dry out your hair a tad, but you get so much more pigment from it, and I find that the colour lasts so, so much longer if you're not diluting these with a conditioner. So what I have done at this point is I have mixed about, I added in an extra colour as well, I added in, I think it's Ruby Red also by Adore, and so I mixed one part Ruby Red with one part Orange Blaze to about three parts of Cajun Spice because I wanted a very reddish, dark orange, sort of gingery colour, so I wanted that Cajun Spice to be like the main colour in there, but I still wanted it more pigmented and more red than orange. So I mixed all those together in a big ass mixing bowl and what I'm doing now is I am just pasting that all over my hair, just saturating every bit of hair that I can find uh, with that mixture. So basically just continue this messy, messy process until your entire head is covered, essentially just dyeing it as you normally would. And just checking on it there. I think I left with this on for about an hour. Um, yeah, I got super covered in this mixture, as I always do, but that's where the Vaseline comes in. Again, that barrier means that this just wipes straight off my face. My arms, not so much. And that is it. That is all I did to get my hair from a very faded but still pretty pigmented bluey green type colour to this super bright very gingery orange colour. I mean you just you just saw me do it. I, I don't really know what else to say. So hopefully if any of you are thinking about like jumping completely from one end of the colour spectrum to the other this might help you out a little bit if these are the sort of colours you're going for. Um, this does work from going from orange back to blue but when I do that I will film that too. As always guys, I hope you liked this video, I hope you found it informative or helpful if you're thinking of doing this with your hair. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and check out me originally dyeing my hair teal and all that sort of stuff if you want to see how it looked before I did this. Remember to leave a like, comment and a favourite too and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!